Good morning, I'm Dan Edwards, and we're working for you to share with you important information now, a health concern that is creeping into our society. Uh, due to an increasingly sedentary lifestyle in our society, there's a new ailment that we're calling sitting disease, of course, we're not calling it, the World Health Organization is, and to talk more detail about this is Dr. Mark Ringel from the Premier Health Network. Thanks for joining us, doctor. Thank so, you. again, it's the sitting disease. To some it may seem silly, but you're saying this is a very serious condition. Absolutely. The World Health Organization has suggested that it's probably one of the ten leading causes of death in the world. Whether it's in a developed or underdeveloped country, about 60 percent plus people are at risk because of more sedentary lifestyle, and this increases year by year. Now, why is sitting so bad? I mean, it, like in the airlines, we've been, we've been told if you have a long flight, get up, get a little circulation. Mm -hmm. Same type of thing or, or not? Well, sitting for long periods of time decreases metabolism, and mm -hmm. this has many effects on multiple diseases, diabetes, hypertension, cholesterol problems, and obesity itself is becoming a major problem. Ninety-seven million people in this country are overweight or obese. And these, even obesity is a How, risk did factor. You, did you say 97? 97, between oh. overweight and obese, 97 wow. million. I did not realize it was out. Uh, so look, you, you were looking at folks behind the computer, and, and uh, a lot of the devices that we have today are designed to save us effort. Absolutely. But yet in the long run, that's hurting us. Well, yes, it is. Uh, 100 years ago, no one had cars. 50 years ago, some people would commute to work. Many people would still walk. Mm -hmm and they might take the train or bus. Now everyone drives a long drive to work. We live farther and farther away. The drive is longer. We go to work. We sit for most of the hours of the day. Mm -hmm. We go home and relax and eat and watch TV and get on the computer and wind up doing a whole lot of nothing. Does this affect women, men equally? It really does. There's one study that I saw that suggested for women who sit, just plain sitting more than six hours a day, have a 40% increased risk of death from all causes, regardless of fitness level, than women who sit less than three hours a day. So what we should do is get up and get going? Absolutely. Uh, at work, there's many things we can do. There's a term called NEAT, non-exercise uh, activity thermogenesis, meaning be active at work. Instead of sitting, get up and stretch. Get up and move around. Walk around the office. Go to a different floor to go to the restroom. Take the steps, not the elevator. Park farther away. Mm -hmm. And you can contend this at, at home as well as far as more active uh, activities right. when you're at home. Doctor, thank you for letting us know about sitting disease and the, uh, the effects it has on us. Thank you for Very good. being with us this morning. Thank you. Appreciate Heavy. your time. Our time now.